Guys, why do we open CSGO cases? If you just said to get cool skins that you like, wrong. We open CSGO cases to make money. Obviously, guys, I am just kidding. You 100% should not be opening CSGO cases with the intent of making money. But I'm about to 180 on that because that is the premise of today's video. I was on TikTok the other night. I saw this website called CSROI.com. Uh, it's actually a pretty cool utility. You guys can see here, I have it filtered by the cases with the highest ROI. And right now that's gonna be CSGO Weapon Case 3. And I thought it would be fun to go through each of these categories. See at the top, we can swap it from cases to stickers and so on. And open like one or two of everything that has the highest ROI, assuming it's not $50. I will tell you guys right now, I did actually pick up like a vintage thing that will open toward the end of the video that was a little expensive. Pretty excited about that. But the whole point of today's video, we're gonna open stuff with the highest ROI and hope we can turn a profit opening. Will we? Probably not. But guys, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, we're getting new skins, new stickers, all this stuff. It'll get used, I'll enjoy it, and that's what matters. But without further ado, let's get into this video and see if we can make money opening CSGO cases. Starting us off with some team stickers. So guys, all of these together were about $1.25, so we're hoping we'll get more than $1.25 back out of these. Let's go ahead and get into it. I would absolutely love, love hollows from this. I think the hollows in Paris look absolutely incredible. Let's go ahead and see what we get here. Ooh. <laughs> okay, little bait. Little bait start us off. Little bait. That would have been nice. Come on, Gabe. Okay, we might already be in the profit off that. That is a sick hollow. Come on, Gabe. Everything else is just more profit at this point. We have already bl blown this portion out of the water. Come on, Gabe. Give me something else. It's fine. We <laughs> That was incredible that we just got that. I can't believe that. Ooh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're okay. That pink just absolutely saved us right there. That is awesome. Huge start. So guys, for the team stickers, we actually spent $1.30. Our total return was $6.65. Thank you, G2. Leaving us a profit of $5.35 but we will be coming back to the team stickers because I have a little surprise for you guys later on. For now, guys, let's go ahead and crack into some autograph stickers. We have the five Paris autograph capsules and we have the vintage Team Liquid uh, autograph as well. It's so fucked looking in this UI. Uh, I'm assuming the only things we really want from this are maybe a liege and simple. Uh, I don't even know. We're just going to open it in a second. We'll see. But first, let's go ahead and get through these Paris ones. Obviously, what you want in here is a, uh, a Sex, a Dexter Hollow. Uh, what else? Uh, Rops would be very expensive as well. And I think the most expensive is going to be VSM here. That is, I think, like a $40 sticker. Absolutely insane. I wouldn't mind Halzert, Hollows, or Golds either. Absolutely love Halzert. He is my favorite pro player at the moment. But let's go ahead and get into one. Ooh. Ooh. That would have been expensive. The Golden Sex. Gabe's baiting us today. We're seeing some crazy stuff. Okay, we got a glitter, absolutely worthless. And just like last time, these were $1.25, you guys know that. And if you think about it, uh, that last hollow we got kind of covers these. Like, so if we get no hits out of these, we're still in the profit for that stuff in particular. Let's see, last pack magic here. Nope, not today. All papers and a glitter from that. Nothing exciting. 
But let's open this. Old vintage. I never saw myself opening an MLG Columbus package like this again. Should be fun. Like I said, I think we would want simple or a liege. Let's get into it. Show me simple. Okay, we got a liege. That should be good. Let's go ahead and check out the price on that. Ooh, the, ooh that's a pretty decent loss, I think. 215 probably about breaking even for the whole opening at this point guys the autographs didn't treat us as well we ended up spending seven dollars and 29 cents our return was two dollars and 30 cents leaving us at a negative of four dollars and 99 cents let's see if our luck will improve with a souvenir package i doubt it uh hopefully i don't need to tell you guys that opening these is insanely stupid. It is the most assured way to get rid of all your money. Imminent danger incoming. Here we go. Show it to me, Gabe. Got a light blue. Ooh, that looks pretty good. That actually looks pretty good. I mean, it's like field tested as hell, but the gold matches that. That's, that's one I'll hang on to. I like that. Very cool. Well, guys, I wish I could say that went better than I expected, but it went exactly as I expected. That package cost us $2.84. We had a return of $0.17 cents for a profit of negative $2.67. Do not open these if you are trying to make your money back. Please only open these if you just want a cool relic of the major. But now, guys, let's see if we can make some money opening patches. Um, I'm assuming maybe purple and up we're doing pretty good. This was a dollar seventy-five, I believe. Uh I, I think any of the blues were probably gonna be in the red pretty hard. I'm sure you can pick up most of these for like tens of cents. But uh if we get a pink or a purple, maybe we're alright. We'll just have to open it and see. It's a cool animation. Come on, Gabe. Purple? Okay little lambda symbol uh let's see what that's worth i'm guessing 50 cents 315 in the profit okay <laughs> i will take it i will take it uh that it was unexpected okay well guys that was a pleasant surprise that package cost us one dollar 88 cents we opened the Lambda patch that cost $3.08, leaving us a profit of $1.20. Let's see if we can carry that luck over to Music Kids. Here it is, guys. Again, I don't know what we're wanting out of this. I think I don't have any of these real quickly. I will show you my music collection. I one day want to own all the music kits. I have some of the more expensive ones down here, but let's go ahead and get into this. And uh, like I said, anything out of this one, I won't have, so that's nice. Let's go ahead and get into it. Work hard, play hard. I don't even know that I've ever heard this one. Maybe that means it's like super cheap. I guess we're about to see. It was $8. Okay, it's like seven-ish bucks. Okay, so we're a little under on that one. So that one was a loss. Uh, still, I'll probably end up using that. I'll get some use out of it yet. Well guys, it seems our luck ran out. That music kit with tax cost us $8.59. We have a return of $6.92, leaving us with a profit of negative $1.67. But as I said, I didn't have that music kit. I'm gonna get them all one day eventually, so it's not that terrible. But guys, for now, let's go ahead and see if we can make some money opening pins. Uh, pins, what do we want? I'm assuming the same thing. I'm assuming purple to pink we're maybe in the clear some of the purples might be breaking even while some of them may be a profit who knows only one way to find out let's open it 
Show me something pink, Gabe. Okay! Th that's gotta be pretty good. Right? Come on. Come on, Gabe. A little bit more than profit. Come on. It's... It's under... That sucks. I thought for sure that was going to be at least a few dollars more than the thing. That is super unfortunate. But guys, now we are to the exciting stuff. Well, guys, that one was highly disappointing. I thought for sure that one was going to be profit. We spent $10.74 picking up that capsule. Our return was actually $8.17, even though we hit a pink leaving our profit at negative $2.57 for the pins. Really disappointing for that one. But guys, let's go ahead and crack open a regular weapon case and see if we can make a profit. <sighs> okay, so I think just about anything in this and stat track is gonna be a pretty good hit for us. I personally want a case hardened 5.7. Even if it's like total shit, I don't care. I would just love to have one of those. I don't even have a Case Harden skin, yet I am fascinated with them. Uh, I would also like a Blood in the Water. I think those are cool. Uh, I know Sparkles in particular isn't a fan, but I would love to have one. Let's get into it. Come on, Gabe. Give me something here. I think I saw it go by. Oh, that's probably the worst thing we could have got. Double O float though, okay. Hey, that's not too bad. Double O float on like an old skin like this? It's six dollars, but I think because of the double O float, that is gonna be pretty valuable for, cause you could get a double O float 5.7 doing a trade up with this, which maybe we do that, that would be fun. Uh, that is sick, okay. that. That is going to mess up our numbers because I'm not exactly sure what that would be worth, but I am completely satisfied with that. That is awesome. Kind of iffy on that one, guys. That one with tax and the key cost us $17.30. The return I got on DB float and was looking around. I think a double O like that is probably going to be worth about 11 ish dollars. Will I sell it? Probably not. But anyways, that leaves us with a profit of negative $6.30. Still, guys, a pretty substantial loss for that opening. But guys, I told you I had a surprise. We're going to revisit the team stickers real fast and maybe it can save us. All right, guys, to finish us off, I have a surprise. My Elbozo uh, case here is where I've been keeping everything. I have picked us up an ESL ESL one cologne 2015 legends capsule here some really cool stuff in it let me pull it out uh, there was one listed for pretty significantly lower than all the other ones I think it was about like 19 ish dollars so it was like number two on the ROI I picked it up and then it like plummeted to off the list. Apparently it's ROI was only that high because of how low this one was listed. Now that I've got it, uh, the price shot back up and the ROI went down. I wish I remember what it was. I don't think it was like crazy good. To, for it to have been number two, I think it was like 60% or something. What do I want to see out of this? Looking at these, it sucks to say it, but I would really be happy to have any of them. We need something that's worth about $20 or more to make profit. I personally think I want to see the Luminosity. It's just a gorgeous sticker that like cyan blue, absolutely stunning. And I think the TSM ones might be pretty expensive as well. We're just going to open it up, see what we get. We'll check the price after. Come on, Gabe, finish us off with a bang. You've been very generous today. It would suck to let it all go to waste here. Come on. Oh, that's probably... Per oh, Mouse. Okay, I'll take Mouse. I thought it was going to be the other one. 32? Oh, my God. Okay. That is like... Like, fuck, what is that? It's like $13, $14 higher than what I picked that up for. Okay, pretty good. That is a gorgeous sticker, guys. I am absolutely thrilled to own that. That is super cool. 
as you guys can see here, I've added up the five we opened earlier with this. Our total cost for all six of the capsules opened with team stickers were $21.33 with a massive return of $38.87, meaning our profit was $17.54. But the question on everyone's mind was the entire opening in the green or the red. Let's find out. So guys, how did we finish off? Um, you can see here I have my Word document where I've been tracking everything. And if you're going to tell me to use Excel, you're a nerd, get out of here, unsubscribe. But you can see I, I tracked everything here and I know what you guys want to know. What was the profit? How much did we make? Were we in the green? Were we in the red? Guys, I am fairly certain after running the numbers multiple times that we are at a 54 cent profit. Huge, huge come up for a guy like me. But more importantly, ladies and gentlemen, we proved you can make money opening CSGO cases. Empty all your money into Steam right now and start opening. Guys, in the comments down below, let me know if you want to see another video like this in the future. But keep in mind, I am not Anomaly, Jesus, or Sparkle, so I can't drop two grand on cases like them. But I think we can still have fun with this. I enjoyed this a lot. And guys, we are approaching the channel being a year old and we are creeping up on 4,000 subscribers. So if you made it to this point of the video and you're not subscribed, I would greatly appreciate if you did that. Leave a like on the video, guys, and I will see you guys next time.